Lewis Ritson stops Marek Jadwieski in the third round. Um, this was Lewis Ritson's second fight since his loss to Francesco Patero. That was for the European title back down at lightweight. He was in there with this guy, Marek Jadwieski, who was a Polish fighter. Realistically, this guy he was fighting was a lightweight because he weighed in only a pound over the lightweight limit. Lewis Ritson was the full blown 140. He looked way bigger in this fight. And he was in there with a guy who, you know, I think for all intents and purposes, his record looked, you know, somewhat decent. You know, he at the time he had 14 wins and only two defeats. And he'd stopped all but one of his opponents in victory. But I think realistically, Lewis Ritson was just several levels above i think he was just too way too big i mean it did genuinely look like a light welterweight versus a super featherweight in there so i think the size difference it was apparent if you go back and watch this fight you'll see it that the size difference is just straight away apparent in this fight lewis ritson um lewis ritson was someone who really did just come essentially from out of nowhere you know i mean he beat robbie barrett uh, that was for the british title and then he just went on an absolute, you know, massive tear of a streak. You know, he stopped Joe Murray, he stopped Scott Cardell, and then fought Paul Highland. And, you know, he was just getting rid of these guys fairly quickly. And obviously he moved up a level to European level, which I think in the grand scheme of things, you could argue that European level isn't just a level above British level. It might even be two levels. Because we're seeing a lot of fighters who are winning British titles going straight in at European level and losing. Or, you know, maybe winning, but then losing subsequently after that. So, you know, he's on the comeback now. He's in the 140 weight division. And he is looking quite good. He He's fun to watch Lewis Ritson. Because he definitely has some power there. And what I was watching in this fight was, I seen a guy who was a lot more patient than he's been in the past. He was throwing very good shots to head and body. Especially the body. You know, the body shots I saw Lewis Ritson throw in there, they look painful. They look very accurate. And when he got his opponent hurt, in the past we've maybe seen Lewis Ritson, you know, kind of maybe go all guns blazing, which is why they used to call him the mini Triple G. Whereas now he seems a little bit more composed. He pushed his opponent down with a good hook to the body in the third round. He got back up and then a barrage of punches from Lewis Ritson forced Howard Foster, which was a late stoppage by his standards, Howard Foster, to stop this fight. So onwards and upwards for Lewis Ritson. There's not really much to talk about. He was in there with a guy who was much, much, much smaller than him. And obviously in terms of, you know, just levels, was a level or two below Lewis Ritson. But Lewis Ritson, he is looking good. He's in a weight division now, which at domestic level anyway is very interesting because we have guys like O'Hara Davis. Like I'm looking at BoxRec here and I could kind of concur with their rankings of the 140 pound division. They have Josh Taylor, obviously, number one, which is quite rightly so. They have Jack Catchwell, number two, no issues there. They have Robbie Davis Jr., who was actually fighting at this minute, or actually, it's not Robbie Davis Jr., sorry, he is fighting on this card. Um, they've been talking about him as a potential opponent for Lewis Ritson. There's also Terry Flanagan, can't see that happening. He's a Frank Warren fighter last time I checked. And obviously O'Hara Davis, who's had his own kind of you know issues with Eddie Hearn. Um, O'Hara Davis, as many as you know, and I think he'll admit it himself, got a very, very got, got a gift decision in his last fight. Put it like that. And then you know, looking down the ranks, we've got like guys like Tyrone McKenna, you know, Joe Hughes. You know, they're kind of guys that you know you'd be interested to see kind of how Lewis Ritson would do against some of them. I'm just going to see like kind of who else there is, kind of in and around that domestic kind of level. In the 140 pound, who you would like to see kind of Lewis Ritson fight? There's not really anybody to be fair, but yeah, there's some fights there that are interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing the Robbie Davis Jr. fight. I actually wouldn't mind seeing him against O'Hara Davis. Truth be told, because I think O'Hara Davis, O'Hara Davis is an interesting character. I do think he's kind of collecting now more so than he is trying to win, but he is still. I think when he when he wants to, he can be a dangerous fighter, and I'd like to see him in again against Ritson. It'd be an interesting fight. So. Let me know what you think anyway down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will talk to you after.